Okay, so good morning once again, everyone. Okay, so the topic that we are going to start today is simple harmonic motion. Now, when we talk about this topic, think about it. When you talk about simple harmonic motion, okay, uh, we first we talk about something called oscillatory motion or periodic motion, right? Right. So let's talk about circular this periodic motion. Okay, right. We won't be talking about simple harmonic motion okay at first we'll talk about something called oscillatory motion or periodic motion now tell me when we talk about motion we talk about linear motion we talk about rotational motion right i hope all of you remember the concept that we studied in class 7th or 8th different type of motion okay so one type of motion that we studied was something called as periodic motion periodic motion right yes or no yes or no now tell me what is the meaning of periodic motion tell me guys what do you think about periodic motion what is periodic motion yes very good sneha very good aksha so i can say right any motion any motion which repeats itself okay which repeat itself right repeat itself after a certain time interval after a certain fixed time interval certain constant time interval time interval right yes this is what we know clear right that is what we have studied in class 7th 8th this is easy this is something that we have studied okay right and now this time interval this fixed time interval is called as time period right right the constant time interval the constant time interval right is called as time period this is what you have studied right yes now let's think about it right uh, let's give example of some periodic motion anyone tell me any periodic motion tell me this is just the recall of what you have studied yes pendulum okay motion of pendulum yes circular motion yes okay earth around the sun rotation of earth around the sun very good right rotation of moon around earth yes right yes okay yes hand of clock very good correct solar system okay bouncing of ball yes then movement of spring right okay rotation of fan at at a fixed speed right at a fixed speed okay yes so i hope all of you are right yes correct so all of you are so all of you understood what is periodic motion okay now after periodic motion after periodic motion right we talk about another type of motion which is called as harmonic motion harmonic motion now tell me right so periodic motion is very periodic motion was very easy we all understood what is periodic motion right then we will try to discuss what is harmonic motion tell me what is harmonic motion tell me to and fro motion okay oscillatory okay so i can say oscillatory motion is kind of periodic motion in which the movement of object a movement of the object which is right doing this periodic motion is to and fro right yes or no to and fro or in a straight line yes right yes
Okay, yes. So I can say, right, when the periodic motion, periodic motion along the straight line, along the straight line, right, or to and fro motion, to and fro motion. Okay, clear, right? Now, my question is, okay, what about, what about oscillatory motion? What about oscillatory motion? Tell me. Now, first of all, when it is said straight line, right? That is not the correct definition because most of you said this. Okay, so the correction here is along the straight line or curve, or curve, right? Okay, so to and fro motion can either be, okay, can either be on a straight line or a curve. Got it, right? That's the basic definition of oscillatory motion. Got it? Most of you were saying in a straight line. That's why, yes, got it. Yes? Yes. Okay, now think about it. What about oscillatory motion? Tell me. Right? Yes, oscillatory motion is same as harmonic. So I can say when you talk about harmonic motion, okay, so basically oscillatory motion, I can also say oscillatory motion as, right, angular harmonic motion. Angular harmonic motion. Right or not, right? For example, okay, right? For example, pendulum. movement of pendulum okay right but when you talk about when you talk about so this i can say okay when you talk about pendulum pendulum moves okay to and fro along the curve okay along the curve so i can say i can say it rotates around a fixed point yes or no right okay so that is your angular harmonic motion but when you talk about Spring. So spring is called as linear harmonic motion. Okay. Right. So I can say angular harmonic motion is a kind of motion when particle moves to and fro. Okay. Right. Or basically particle is free to rotate about a given axis, yes or no? Tell me, yes or no, right? Okay. And when you talk about linear, so I can say it is the motion in straight line. Yes or no? It must be in straight line. Got it, right? Clear? Understood? So we just understood the basic difference between normal periodic motion oscillatory motion and linear harmonic motion, right? Got it? So when we talk about SHM, when you talk about SHM, which is simple harmonic motion, we talk about linear harmonic motion, okay? We generally talk about linear harmonic motion, right? Tell me, right? Okay. So I hope all of you got the basic idea. Okay, very good. Very good, everyone. Okay, now, when we talk about this, when you talk about this, so before talking more about linear harmonic motion, let's have one pre-reading, right? Let's have one pre-reading test. Let's see how many of you have actually uh, gone through the videos. How many of you gone through the videos? Raise your hand, tell me. How many of you gone through the videos? I have specifically told you to watch the videos. Tell me, how many of you watch the videos? 
those who have watched the videos they will find this chapter or every concept much easier okay right okay now let's see the pre reading or recall test okay so first question is when a motion of a particle repeat itself after a fixed interval of time it is called dash motion tell me easy yes very good very good right periodic very good yes second in a periodic motion when a net force act dash from the equilibrium position the motion is oscillatory yes very good very good towards right very good third a bouncing ball which does not lose any energy is an example of oscillatory motion true or false okay yes okay yes very good so most of you are saying true most of you are saying true okay now fourth one a motion or a motion is defined as simple harmonic if the displacement is linear function of time fourth fourth one okay now fifth one fifth in case of simple harmonic motion the particle crosses the mean or equilibrium position dash times in one time period think about it think about it guys think about it yes very good right very good so most are saying two okay so this is pretty easy right so first a second to what third false okay right fourth false fifth two clear right okay now this is shm right when you talk about this this will be okay this will be see first of all it should be periodic na right a bouncing ball which does not lose any energy is an example of so first of all it is not specified right that it is bouncing the same direction or not right okay so if if it would be periodic then it would be oscillatory right or simple harmonic but first of all it is not given that it should be or it is oscillatory if it is bouncing in same direction think about it if it is bouncing in same direction like this right yes or no then is different case but it is bouncing right randomly then it is different right first of all it should be periodic yes or no it should be periodic motion okay now let's take an example of i don't know know about uh, shm I, i yeah okay right i i don't know about it i don't know what is shm i just know what is periodic motion what is periodic motion it is a kind of motion in which the position of any object repeats after some in time interval so i hope all of you know trigonometry tell me i hope all of you know trigonometry that which means if my position is a function of x or function of anything right so after every time interval after every time interval it will be repeating itself right this is what we know yes or no tell me right okay now let's talk about let's talk about spring for now okay let's talk about spring for now right so we have a spring like this okay spring like this so this is its mean position this is this is the mean position of the spring now suppose we elongate the spring think about it suppose we elongate the spring okay we elongated the spring right this was its mean position and we elongated it now what do you think what will happen no pranjal i'm not mute 
tell me what will happen right think about it what will happen if right if yes if you elongate the string what will happen yes so just think practically it will try to move in this direction it will try to move in this direction yes <laughs> yes and what would be the reason tell me what would be the reason tell me because of this force spring force right so i can say okay i'm having a restoring force right we have studied about this in we have a restoring restoring force yes or no restoring force which pulls back the spring make sense tell me make sense right and that is your spring force that we have already studied in previous chapters so that is your spring force okay which is given by minus kx make sense now this is something that we have already studied right that the yes if you displace it more if you stretch it more right the force the distributing force will be more okay so let's try to think about it let's try to think about it okay so i can say i can say at at this point at this point a this is point a right what is the so suppose this is stretch at its maximum position this is the amplitude right maximum position i hope all of you know what is amplitude what is time period what is frequency yes or no just raise your hand guys i am expecting that all of you know these basic terms right we have studied in atomic structure yes or no right okay so if i want to draw if i want to draw graph think about it if i want to draw a graph okay graph of what graph of this x this displacement x this displacement x and time with respect to time right let's try to think okay analytically right so uh, we just want to find the graph or the variation of x with respect to time graphically intuitively okay right we'll talk about mathematics later but let's talk about intuitively okay right so i can say if at time t is equal to 0 when it is stretched at maximum position so the graph would be something like this think about it right everyone should think okay so the point x is suppose here right the point this is here right now as it right because of this restoring force because of this restoring force right this will try to come back at this original position which is mean position because the restoring force is always toward the mean position yes or no yes or no right yes so i can say okay the position the x right will try to decrease yes or no will try to decrease agree right now my point is my point is okay do you really think that as it comes toward the original position as it comes toward the mean position right its speed what will happen to its speed think about it what will happen to its speed it will be same or it will increase tell me right tell me from a to b a to b what will happen to its speed logical just think imagine right increase makes sense na because as increase na increase right as it comes right from the c in extreme position we have velocity u is equal to 0 right but force f is acting force f which is minus kx is acting in this direction right so as it goes from this position extreme position a to mean position b right okay the speed will increase got it right yes you can think about conservation of energy also yes the potential energy is actually converted into kinetic energy right so why i am asking you this because right you can ask na sir why it is like this curve why it is not a straight line right you might ask sir why it is like this why it is not a straight line because i hope all of you know that when you talk about the slope of xt curve 
when you talk about the slope of x t curve what is the meaning of slope of x t curve tell me what is the meaning of slope of x t curve speed only right so i mass attached with the spring is coming to its normal position the speed is increasing which means the slope should increase right so initially it is flat now it should increase so it will be like this now after reaching point b tell me after reaching point b what will happen everyone think about it after reaching point b what will happen due to inertia and due to this velocity it will go to extreme point c yes or no tell me yes or no right yes so i can say okay the displacement will be again negative and it will reach at extreme point c this point c okay now after reaching this position the same thing will repeat now the force will be in this direction right so again it will be like this like this yes or no tell me yes or no right everyone is getting this everyone is getting this so this is just the intuitive intuitive understanding of what should be the graph of or what should be the variation of right x with respect to time what is the variation of position of this object attached to spring right or doing any harmonic motion with respect to time now tell me what is this graph tell me how many of you can see right what is this graph yes it will be same tell me what would be the graph what is the equation of this tell me what is the equation of this sin curve but what specifically see when x is 0 right it is maximum so obviously x will be equal to tell me sin sin capital t sin t right okay right or sin theta right or x is equal to cos theta tell me where theta is equal to theta is equal to omega t omega t right omega is your angular frequency we'll talk about what is omega but sin or cos tell me tell me sin or cos right yes very good An anisha very good right so it will be cos now because see you can say that at x is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 right at t is equal to 0 right theta is equal to omega t at t is equal to 0 theta is 0 amplitude is maximum okay so it is cos so i can so i can write this equation is x is equal to a cos omega t yes or no tell me yes or no everyone got this everyone got this anyone have any issue in this tell me anyone have any issue till this point vivek nishita Samaya, Samaya is absent. Samya, Samarth, clear, right? And what is A? A is the maximum displacement, right? Maximum position, right? Which is your amplitude, okay? Right? So this is the analytical. Sorry, this is the. Tell me, this is the intuitive relationship. Intuitive relationship. Now we have. Okay, we have. yes we can transform we can transform okay we can transform to sin also right okay now think about it right we want to verify we want to verify that is this the correct relationship how to do that let's see we know that if x is the position so dx by dt dx by dt will be equal to what tell me dx by dt is equal to what tell me to be A omega, tell me minus sine omega t. Yes or no? Differentiation of this function. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Right? Yes or no? Okay. So differentiation of cos omega t is minus omega minus omega sine omega t. Clear? Everyone clear? Differentiation of cos omega t is minus omega sine omega t. Yes, using chain rule. now differentiate this again which is d square x by dt square d square x by dt square 
right? What would what will be the differentiation of this? It will be minus a omega constant. What is the differentiation of sine omega t? It will be again omega cos omega t. Yes or no? Differentiation of sine omega t is omega cos omega t. Yes or no? Need students? Are you getting? Tell me, Samya. Everyone, Samya. Everyone is getting, right? I just use the differentiation. I hope all of you know this much differentiation that if I can do it, right, in one step, you will understood, right? So you will understand, right? So if you see, it will be minus a omega squared cos omega t. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Very good. What is this? Right. What is this? What is d square x by d t square? What is d square x by d t square? Tell me. What is d square x by d t square? Acceleration a, right? This is acceleration a. This is just acceleration. Nah, d square x by d t square. This is just acceleration, right? Is equal to minus. Now omega square you keep it. Omega square you keep it. Except omega square, what we will have? A cos omega t. Yes or no? A cos omega t. Anyone have any issue in this? Tell me. Anyone have any issue in this? No, right? So what is a cos omega t? Tell me. X. A cos omega t is x only. Yes or no? Yes or no? So I can say okay. The expression is. Minus omega square x, right, right. But we know that we know that. Okay, when we talk about SHM, simple harmonic motion, the restoring force F restoring, right, restoring force should be equal to minus k x, right. So if the motion is like this, it should follow this condition. Yes or no? It should follow this condition, right? Now let's see. We know that when you talk about force, force is equal to ma. Force is equal to ma, right? And this is equal to minus. This should be equal to minus kx. Let's see. Is it following this or not? Right. Let's see. So a we know this. So f is equal to ma is equal to m into minus omega square x, right? So I can say okay, it is m omega square x. Right? Tell me. Right, everyone. Now, if you equate this, if you equate this with minus k x, it makes sense. Now, this whole term will be equal to k. Right? Got it? Yes. Yes. Where m? M was what? Tell me. M is what? Right? What is moving? Tell me. What is moving? This block was moving, na? The spring, the mass attached with the spring. This is moving, right? Right, so obviously, when talk about this mass, it will be the mass of block attached with spring. So, if you equate this, can I say that k is equal to m omega squared? Yes or no? Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Right? Tell me. Okay, now this is just one case. This is just one case. I took example of spring. Okay, right? Clear? But instead of think about it, instead of spring, instead of spring, if we have any other, tell me any other force. For example, I hope all of you remember, right? Due to stress and strain, force due to stress and strain, right? Yes or no? Right. So in that case, K was of something else. K would be something else. Agree? Right? Agree, everyone. Okay. So this is the basic intuitive idea. This is just the intuitive idea. I hope all of you understood what is the meaning of simple harmonic motion, how simple harmonic motion occurs, what is the condition, and all those things. Right? Okay. Anyone have any issue in this? Anyone have any issue in this? Tell me. No. Okay. So let's see. So we studied. Okay. Right. We studied. What is your 
the periodic motion okay we study what is periodic motion so periodic motion right is a motion in which all the parameters or the motion is repeated repeated after finite time interval yes or no tell me yes or no and the time interval this finite time interval is called as time period yes or no tell me right got it yes okay and when you talk about frequency the number of times the number of periodic motions right in that time interval the number of periodic motion in that time interval is called as frequency okay so if i can say that i can say that in one time in one oscillation the number of times okay right the number of times right any object is repeating that is called your frequency yes or no so which is 1 by t 1 by t is equal to frequency now oscillatory motion we studied the oscillatory motion is a motion which particle moves to and fro on the same path now this to and fro may be on curve or on a straight line depending on that we will have angular simple harmonic and linear simple harmonic right okay so i hope all of you understood this tell me i hope all of you understood this right so when you talk about simple harmonic okay so i can say it is a special kind of periodic motion which is oscillatory again first is periodic motion then under periodic motion we have oscillatory then under oscillatory we have shm okay now what is the condition the condition is acceleration or restoring force is always always proportional to negative of its displacement yes or no right that is what we studied yes or no so i can say the restoring force restoring force f restoring should always be directly proportional to minus x agree this is the condition okay right now so i can say we can have some points related to shm that shm can always take place with stable equilibrium position obviously yes or no right then the force or the torque should always be directed toward the mean position right when you talk about force it is linear shm when you talk about torque it is tell me angular shm yes or no yes or no right and energy should be conserved okay energy should be conserved so these things we have already considered okay we have already studied now we have studied that we have two type of shm linear and angular so obviously when you talk about linear okay right the particle moves to and fro along a straight line okay right but when you talk about angular so it moves to and fro along a given axis means the rotation right so i hope all of you understood till this point tell me so all the concept till this point is clear it is easy understood by everyone just raise your hand now then we studied right we'll take this condition only so i said that the condition is that restoring force should be equal to minus k where k is a constant again k is a constant k can be anything in terms of spring it is spring constant in terms of any other restoring force it will be something else got it this is what you have to know right k is not spring force k is any constant in case of spring in case of spring right okay right in case of spring it is your spring constant but in case of any other restoring force it might be something else okay okay so we derived this we derived the intuitional relationship of x now we can actually derive it using differential calculus right but which you don't know till now okay so don't worry about this okay but i can say we have a relationship like this yes or no right yes or no so i can say that this is your equation now since this equation contain differentiation it is called as differential equation differential equation okay and b can solve a differential equation okay but not in our syllabus for now okay right that's why i taught you the intuitional method okay now when you talk about the solution solution is x equal to a sin omega t plus phi a sin omega t plus phi right now tell me and what we thought was a cos omega t now tell me which is right this one or this one tell me which is right this or this tell me 
both yes exactly because right this phi represents the initial initial position yes or no initial position initial phase right this is called as phase okay phase initial phase right right so if you remember if you remember when we took this equation the initial phase was what pi by 2 yes or no it was pi by 2 okay so i can say i can say right sin omega t plus pi by 2 okay right yes this is your a cos omega t anyone have any issue tell me anyone have any issue right means if i would have taken if i would have taken x from the mean position think about it if i would have start started the motion from mean position right from mean position then my equation would have been a sin omega t yes or no right when x was zero at mean position then it would be a sin omega t here we started with x equal to a so that's why we have a cos omega t clear everyone tell me everyone is clear everyone is clear in this concept tell me right so the general equation i can say x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi where phi is any angle right any angle any phase depending on the initial condition right from where it is starting clear everyone okay very good very good so see right as i told you the derivation of this the derivation of this is basically based on differential equation that you are going to study in class 12 okay so i can show you i can show you right i'll just tell you once but if you don't get it no issues okay a is the amplitude and a is the maximum position right a is the maximum position capital a is the maximum position na okay now let's see let's see the derivation guys right but if you don't get it if you don't get it no issues okay right now we started with this we started with f by m so omega is equal to root k by m now dv by dt dv by dt is equal to what acceleration which was minus omega square x okay now dv by dt we started with this dv by dt is equal to minus omega square x but this is in terms of x this is in terms of t how to do it right how to derive it so i can say okay dv by i'll use chain rule dv by dt can be written as dv by dx into dx by dt right everyone this is what we can do right it is minus omega square x okay now if k is constant m is constant so omega will be constant now can i say dx by dt is v and this is dv and dx will go this side so we'll get minus omega square x dx yes or no right yes or no so we'll get something like this we'll get something like this agree tell me agree right anyone have any issue in this now we will integrate it we will integrate it now this is this is again this is not the equation this is basically the tell me value of amplitude right this is value of amplitude okay so if you integrate this i can say right integration of v is v square by 2 upper limit v lower limit v not right is equal to minus omega square x integration of x will be x square by 2 upper limit x lower limit x not okay that is the initial position so if we put it we will get what v square 2 2 will get cancelled so v square minus v not square is equal to minus omega square x square minus x not square yes or no tell me yes or no okay right now so can i find can i find the value of can i find the value of v tell me think about it yes so if you think about it v will be equal to v not square plus right v not square plus or you can just take minus but you can write plus omega square x not square 
minus omega square x square yes or no yes or no right b b square now div divide everything by omega divide everything by omega so it will be v square is equal to v not square by omega square plus x not square minus x square right so if you see this if you see this can i say that v square this v is equal to omega under root this tell me yes or no yes or no tell me right so i can say v is equal to now this omega will go this side so omega under root whole under root now this is this thing is constant yes or no this thing is constant v not by omega whole square plus x square right minus x sorry x not square minus x square this whole term is constant yes or no tell me yes or no agree v not is constant omega is constant x not is constant yes right so i call this constant as a i call this constant is a square which will be the amplitude which will be the amplitude so can i say v is equal to omega under root a square minus x square tell me yes or no tell me everyone note it down everyone note it down but i hope all of you understood this yes or no tell me yes or no what is v v is the velocity right of any object which is doing shm right with respect to x anyone have any doubt in this tell me anyone have any doubt in this tell me everyone sneha you understood right i derived it also okay i wrote it also even though it was derived i wrote it step by step so i hope all of you understood this yes or no tell me sorry everyone sorry i was muted yeah so suppose right this is this second second method right when we already know that x is equal to a sin omega t plus pi okay so in this case i assume that x is equal because any motion which obeys this right okay can be written in this form right after solving this we'll get this okay right this is a fact we will know how to solve okay right so if you derive it i'll get a omega cos omega t plus phi and we know that cos theta is equal to root of 1 minus sin square theta yes or no tell me yes or no tell me yes or no cos theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta agree so if you use this concept over here let's use the concept so it will be a omega under root under root 1 minus 1 minus sin tell me square omega t plus phi anyone have any issues in this anyone have any issue in this no now take a inside if you take a inside i can write okay i can write like this now so it will be uh, wait omega under root a when a is taken inside it will become a square a square minus this will become a square tell me sin square omega t 
plus five, right? Now tell me what is this? Tell me what is the second term? Everyone, what is the second term? What is the second term? Tell me. X square only. Yes, very good, Samya. Very good. So can I say, okay, this became omega under root a square minus x square. The same equation. Yes or no? V is equal to omega under root of a square minus x square. Same. Right, everyone. Tell me. Right. Agree. Tell me. Which further proves, which further proves that I can easily take x equal to a sine omega t plus phi, right? Okay. Whenever restoring force is directly proportional to negative of x, okay, right? The position is given by x equal to a sine omega t plus phi, where phi is the initial phase. Initial phase. Okay. Anyone have any issues? Tell me. No. Yes or no? Everyone got the concept till this point. Everyone got the concept till this point. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay, everyone. So this is what we derived, right? So u is equal to dx by dt, which is a omega cos omega t plus phi, or delta here. They have used used delta, and a is equal to dy by dt, which is Minus omega square a sine omega t plus phi or delta, right? Now characteristics of SHM. Let's see the characteristics of SHM. Simple harmonic motion. So we talked about some terms, right? We know what is displacement. Tell me what is displacement, everyone. What is displacement? Tell me what is the displacement? Displacement is basically the position of any object, right? Position of any object which is doing SHM, right? From its Mean position, yes or no? Distance from mean position, very good. At any given time, right? That is your displacement. So when you talk about this, x is equal to a sine omega t plus delta or a sine omega t plus pi is your position. Amplitude. What is amplitude? What is amplitude? Amplitude is the maximum position, right? That's it, right? Amplitude is the maximum value of displacement or maximum position. So I can say this. Depicts the position, right, of any object doing a shift at a given time. Yes or no? Right. So I can say we have two extreme positions and one equilibrium position. Yes or no? Yes or no? Right. Then time period. So what is the time period? Tell me what is the time period from? Suppose this is O. So time taken from O to A. Time taken from O to B. Suppose this is T one, and this is also this is T two, right? So what can you say? What is total time T? What is total time T? What is time period? Tell me what is time period. Tell me what is time period, everyone. It is two T one plus T two, na? Two T one plus T two, yes, right? Because when you talk about time period, okay, if it starts from this point, right, it will go to this point, then come again at this point, right? Okay, so that is your one oscillation. So total time will be two T one plus T two. Makes sense? Tell me, makes sense? Okay. Now, next is frequency. We know that. What is frequency? Frequency is number of oscillation per unit time. Okay, right. Now, on angular frequency, when talk about angular frequency, it is number of oscillation per. Tell me. Per radian, right? Per radian. Okay, so it will be omega by two pi. So this is one relationship that you should remember. Omega is equal to two pi f. 2 pi f omega is equal to 2 pi f, right? So here frequency n, I'll just write as f omega is equal to 2 pi f. This is the relationship between angular frequency and not linear frequency, new frequency. Okay. Clear? 
clear? Anyone have any doubt till this point? Tell me, anyone have any doubt till this point? Tell me. No? Okay. The next concept is, what do you mean? We are just again seeing the terms associated with SHM, right? Okay. So, the next is phase. We talk about phase. What do you mean by phase? Tell me. What do you mean by phase? Tell me. What is the meaning of phase? Anyone? Anyone? What do you mean by phase? Tell me. Anyone who can answer? Ovas? Shiri? Samya? Samya? Sneha? What do you mean by phase? Tell me. Think about it. Everyone think about it. Let me know. What is phase? I said, okay, if I'm writing x is equal to a sine omega t plus phi, then the omega t plus phi, I said that it is a phase, right? Yes or no? So what is a phase? What is the meaning of omega t plus phi? Don't you think that it, it basically gives us the idea about the status of the particle? Tell me that where the particle will be at a given time. Think about it. Right? Think about it, right? So can I say phase? Phase is basically, <laughs> right? Phase is the quantity which gives us the state of our the status of the particle, right? The state of the of the particle at a given time. Yes or no? Yes or no means, right? I'll get to know that where the point is, sorry, where the particle is at a given time, right? If I have the information about the phase, right? Okay, so I can say when you talk about phase, so this, this quantity, omega t plus, here delta they have taken, right? They have taken other variable, doesn't matter. Is called phase, which basically gives us the status of the particle in SHM. Yes or no? Yes or no? Now, now if I say a is equal to, sorry, x is equal to a sine omega t plus phi, right? Think about it, sine omega t plus phi. So this omega t plus phi is basically giving me the idea that where the particle is, right? Because suppose this is equal to zero, this is equal to zero, right? So tell me, this is equal to zero. So what is the value of x? What would be the position of object, right? In SHM, tell me if this omega t plus phi is equal to zero, tell me. Tell me, the x will be zero, na? Nah? x will be zero because sine zero is equal to zero. Right, so x will be zero, right? Which means, which means it is at the mean position, yes or no, right? The object is at mean position. It is not displaced, agree? Tell me, agree everyone, right? Yes? Now, if this omega t plus phi, this whole omega t plus phi is equal to pi by two, pi by two, which means, which means it is at extreme position, yes or no? Because x is equal to what? A sine pi by 2, pi by 2, which is equal to sine x equal to A, which means it is at extreme position, yes or no? Tell me. Agree? Right? Yes? So let's see. Let's see this with the help of graph. Again, let's see this with the help of graph. Okay. Now see this.
okay sorry i'm muted sorry guys yeah so i was saying i was saying suppose you are moving on the circle right you are moving on a circular path okay and light is coming from this side light is coming from this side suppose light is coming from this side right light is coming like this think about it right just visualize this okay right okay so you are standing here at first suppose you are standing at here okay right or we have a rod like just think about it we have a rod like this rod like this okay now tell me if this rod is at this position right the shadow will be formed on this wall yes or no tell me yes or no so i can this say the shadow will be like this like this only the shadow will be of this length yes or no tell me the length of the shadow is equal to the length of the rod yes tell me yes or no right okay now suppose suppose this rod moves by some angle theta some angle theta at this position now do you really think that the length of the shadow will be same or it will be different tell me will it be same or will it be different different will it be less or will it be more less okay now as it goes as is as it goes away from this position right the length of the shadow will decrease or increase tell me the length of the shadow will decrease or increase decrease right makes sense so at this point at this point if the rod is like this if the rod is like this what do you think about the shadow will it be will there be any shadow or will it be just a dot tell me will there be any shadow will there be just a dot dot right now again again if it start moving in this position like this then what will happen to the shadow tell me what will happen to the shadow now it will again right yes it will again start forming and it will increase right until it reach at this point yes or no tell me yes or no so what can you say what can you say about what can you say about the position or the size of the shadow tell me what can you say about the size of the shadow can you say can you say the shadow is actually having a linear right or sm tell me can i say that shadow length of shadow is actually the sm motion yes or no tell me yes or no think about it yes but what is actually happening over here you are actually covering some angle that's what happening right you are actually covering some angle yes or no yes or no right so let's try to let's try to plot this let's try to plot this okay so at this position suppose this angle is zero at this position right the angle is zero but the length of shadow is maximum so i'll just say like this okay the angle is zero the length of shadow is maximum now when it goes from this to this right it covers 90 degree and the length of shadow become what from from maximum to zero so from maximum to zero okay right 90 degree now from this point to again 180 degree from this point to again 180 degree right the length of shadow will be maximum again but in opposite direction in opposite direction then again when it comes from this to this position again it becomes zero yes or no so what is phase tell me in this case what is phase tell me i hope all is understood the meaning of phase now what is phase i can say the angle covered by this rod is actually the phase yes or no right as the angle is changing right as the angle is changing the length of this shadow is changing right which basically length of the position right of sm is changing yes or no right yes got it so i can say this angle when you talk about 90 degree when you talk about this 180 degree or when you talk about this 270 degree right this is angle but this angle is changing with respect to time this angle is changing with respect to time right and and think about it right think about it 
right? How fast it is rotating, how fast it is rotating will also affect, will also affect this theta, yes or no, right? Yes or no, if it is rotating fast, then time taken will be less to come to reach from this point to this point or to cover 90 degrees, yes or no. So I can say, I can say this theta is basically this omega into t, right? Yes or no, yes or no, right? Omega into t, I'll just write omega into t. Okay, but, but we don't know, right? We don't know that it is starting from this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, right? General, in general sense, we don't know now nah, that from where we are starting, right? Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Right? That's why I'll keep a constant phi, which tells me the initial position, the initial angle. Got it? Tell me, everyone got this? Why? Theta is equal to omega t plus phi. And what is theta? What is what is your phase? I hope all of you understood this. Tell me. I hope all of you understood this. Right? This concept is clear. Tell me, everyone, this concept is clear. Yes or no, this concept is clear. Right? What is phase? Have you imagined this? Right? Now, the concept is phase should be clear. So, here we are taking only with respect to time, right? We are not taking with respect to anything else. We're just taking the change with respect to time. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Right, very good everyone. So I hope all of you got this. I hope all of you got this. Okay. Yes, very good. So this phase constant is clear. The phase constant is clear. <laughs> okay. Now next is velocity. So velocity is basically the rate of change of the particle displacement. We derived it that this is equal to omega and root a square minus x square, right? When you talk about maximum velocity, so maximum velocity will be where? Where x is equal to zero, right? Yes or no, that is what we did, right? Maximum velocity will be at mean position, right? Which is omega a and at extreme position, when x is equal to a, the velocity will be zero, right everyone? Right? So let's see this. Let's recall all the concepts that we have learned Okay, and let's try to draw a curve. Okay, so displacement is given by x is equal to a sine omega t. I'll just consider that it is starting from mean position. Okay, that's why phi is zero, right? Now, when you talk about velocity, velocity is given by differentiation of this, which is a omega cos omega t or a omega sine omega t plus pi by two. Clear everyone, right? Okay, or this. And write about acceleration, which is given by minus omega square a sine omega t or omega square a sine omega t plus pi plus pi. Anyone have any doubt till this point? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt till this point? Step by step. This is a very important concept. Step by step. No, clear. This concept is clear. Everyone, right? Okay. Now let's put time t is equal to zero. Let's put time t is equal to zero. If time t is equal to zero, what is the value of x? If time t is equal to zero, what is the value of x? At time t is equal to zero, what is x? x is zero, no, sine zero is zero, so zero, right? Which means I'm saying that I'm starting from, I'm, this, this object is starting from the mean position, right? That is the meaning of this, okay? Now at mean position, at mean position, if you put t is equal to zero, cos omega t cos zero is one, which is v is equal to a omega, which is the maximum. So velocity is a omega. What about acceleration? Acceleration is also zero because again, acceleration is minus omega square x, so zero. Okay, now at zero, so I can say at mean position, doesn't matter if you are taking pendulum or spring. So I'll take spring over here, okay? The spring at mean position. If spring is at mean position, okay, right? Mean position. So mean position is O. Now, when you talk about t by 4, what is the meaning of t by 4? Tell me. What is the meaning of t by 4? Which means, right, it is going from mean position to any of the extreme position. So like, suppose it is going to this extreme position, this extreme position, okay? Think about it, this extreme position.
this extreme position, right? So this is point A. This is point A. This is your mean position. Now, the time taken from O to A is t by four. Now, at this point, at this point, the displacement is A because at t by four, the angle is what? Tell me. This this t is equal to t by four, and we know that omega is equal to what? Two pi by t. Yes or no? Two pi by t, right? And when you're saying t is equal to t by four, so omega t is equal to two pi by t. Capital T into T by four, right? Which is pi by two. Agree? This is how you have to solve it, right? So pi by two. So put pi by two over here. Put pi by two over here. So if we put pi by two, x equal to a. Okay, very good. If you put pi by two over here, right? V is equal to zero, and expression is equal to minus omega square a. Clear? So I can say at extreme position, extreme position. Right, the displacement and acceleration are maximum, but velocity is minimum. Right now, t by two is same as mean position. Three t by four is same as t by four. Now, t is same as mean position. Anyone have any issue in this? I hope all of you remember this. You have guys, you have to watch the video and make your own notes. Okay, you have to watch the video and make your own notes. Right. Or you can just write notes while uh, class, and you can write down the missed portion after the class. Okay, so I hope everyone is clear with this. Everyone understood this concept, right? So let's see the graph. Now let's see the graph. So if you see the graph, right? So this is this is the graph of x, which is x. I'll write down the equation also. X a sine omega t. That is the equation. Yes or no? Makes sense. Now. When you talk about v, v is equal to what? V is equal to a omega cos omega t, or 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 you can just write cos omega t. So what is the graph of cos omega t? It will be like this, na, right? Like this. Now a a is equal to what? Minus omega square a sine omega t, right? So it will be same as x but in opposite direction. Means instead of going up. It will come down between zero to t y two, right? So it will be opposite. Opposite means a mirror image along the y axis. Because I hope all of you studied in maths that if I'm having f of x, right, then minus of f of x is basically the mirror image along the y x axis. Sorry, minus f of x is the mirror image along the x axis. Yes or no? Tell me yes or no. Clear? Everyone got this? Tell me everyone got this? Yes or no? Tell me, everyone got this concept? Okay, very good, everyone. Okay, right? Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. So this is the graph. This is the graph of this is the graph of velocity. Okay, with respect to x. This is the graph of velocity with respect to x, and this is the graph of acceleration with respect to x. So, as you know, the v is equal to omega square minus x square. Right. Sorry, a square omega a square minus x square. Right. This is the. Okay, sorry, I'm not showing now. Huh? Yeah. So v is equal to v is equal to All of you know maths, right? All of you have studied quadratic equation, na? Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? I hope all of you studied quadratic equation in class tenth also, right? So b squared is equal to omega squared a squared minus omega squared x squared. What is this? This is a quadratic equation. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Where v is y and x is x. So can I say, right? If we are talking about quadratic equation, right? The quality question will be what? Tell me. This is the quality question. Now, what is the graph of quality question? Tell me what is the graph of quality question. Tell me, everyone, what is the graph of quality question? Parabola, and the coefficient of x is positive or negative. The coefficient of x is positive or negative. Here, the coefficient of x is positive or negative. Tell me. 
think about it it's given na it is negative right now if the coefficient of x is negative if the coefficient of x is negative right then what do you think right now but this this is not a parabola right that is what you might might, might have thought but this is not a parabola why because this is not y this is not y this is y square got it right okay right now i hope all of you have studied uh, this conics some of you said parabola because you thought it to be parabola because of the figure but think about it it is not y is equal to x square plus bx plus c it is y square is equal to x square plus bx plus c right something like this right so it will be conex right okay right sorry ellipse how ellipse let's see let's see so this is the variable my x square is variable put it on this side so v square plus omega square x square is equal to omega square a square divide both side by omega square a square so we will get v square by omega square a square plus x square by a square is equal to 1 yes or no tell me yes or no tell me so what is what is v v is y axis now v is y axis so y square by this small a square right like down y square by small a square plus x square by small b square is equal to 1 what is this equation tell me what is this equation what is this equation of ellipse right ellipse clear clear everyone that's why that's why the curve right the graph between velocity and displacement is of ellipse clear so the graph is of ellipse okay so this is for advance this is for advance okay so in advance they can mix the concept of ellipse and this okay now uh, when you talk about acceleration of Sorry, the graph acceleration and displacement is pretty easy because a is equal to minus omega square x, right? This is just a straight line. A is directly proportional to x, just a straight line. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? This is pretty easy one. Clear, right? So I hope all of you understood the graph of x with respect to time, velocity with respect to time, acceleration with respect to time, velocity with respect to x, and display acceleration with respect to x. Anyone have any issue in this? Anyone have any issue in this? Tell me. what do you think what's the answer everyone what's the answer okay okay let's see right so the question was consider simple pendulum as shown right okay if the time required by the pendulum to start from point a to reach point b then come again at point a is t then the time period of the oscillation is given by so the answer is b to t yes or no tell me yes or no right because a is your mean position this is what we did right this is what we did i asked you the same problem yes or no right okay so we have covered this also right this also tell me the angular frequency and the amplitude of shm are decreased omega and a both are decreased all the other parameters remaining same the time instant when the particle come back to mean position for the first time tell me okay aden everyone tell me okay so many people are saying decrease many people saying remain same so the answer is increases the answer is increases right see think about it na right 
right yes so see okay so we are if you see this if you see this question again sorry sorry what is changed see the angular frequency omega right and the amplitude are decreased the am angular frequency and amplitude is decreased okay the time period so we know that we know that what tell me think about it right amplitude has nothing to do with the time period yes or no amplitude has nothing to do with the time period so omega is equal to 2 pi by t yes or no yes or no right so obviously if omega is less if omega is decreased right what will happen to time period it will increase now as simple as that yes or no right yes or no as simple as that okay clear clear everyone okay so next we have covered this also tell me this concept test guys we will take attendance so please don't leave without your attendance otherwise you will be marked absent try to solve this if you are saying both are correct so let's see we know that x right x component of circular motion can be considered to be sm yes or no that's what we see right right that the x component is changing yes okay so the statement one says the x component of velocity of circular motion can be considered to be the corresponding velocity of the particular particle in sm okay into the x component of acceleration of circular motion can be considered to be corresponding acceleration of particle in sm right so most of said that both are correct right which is correct yes or no right yes clear right okay so we have covered this till uh, covered till this okay we have covered this also but anyways we'll do we'll be completing this in next class okay